Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since I recorded my last video so I thought to come up with a bit different topic and this time I'm going to speak on authentication. So till date we were authenticating our app using, I mean we were authenticating our Azure OpenAI based app using key based authentication. So in this video I will show you what are the reasons behind not using the key based authentication. Because whenever we are going with production ready app or whenever we are planning to deploy our app in the production, definitely we cannot go for key based authentication and there are multiple reasons behind this. So let's have a quick look at few of those. So the first reason is about key exposure. We all know that key can be exposed very easily because we are defining the key either in our some configuration file or in between some source code. So whenever we are checking in our source code, there are high chances that the key got checked into our source control. Or there is also a possibility that we have stored that key in some unsafe location. So these are the potential reasons behind the key exposure. Another, level, uh, another reason behind not using the key is lack of granular permissions. So this is related to the permissions and we all know that whenever we are dealing with keys, there is a one important principle and that it doesn't follow the principle of least privilege. It means that keys provide the elevated permissions uh, regarded, regardless of who is using those keys or for what task whoever is going to use those keys. And this could definitely lead to potential misuse of our keys. Because whenever we are giving permission, the standard principle says that give the bare minimum permissions. But if you are using keys, then you don't have control of that particular policy. Another reason is the difficulty and rotation. So this is one of the most well-known one because managing and rotating key is never easy. It is very cumbersome, especially when you are in the production environment. So let's say uh, your key is compromised, your application is in production, your key is compromised, then you need to update all the instances where the key is used. And again, it is very error prone as well as time consuming. So now we have so many drawbacks with keys. So how to go ahead with our application then. So definitely we need a better solution for our enterprise grade production applications. And for that, instead of using OpenAI API key or the Azure OpenAI's API key, it is recommended to use the managed identities for Azure resources. Because we are already in Azure, it is very easy for us to go for managed identities. And managed identities provide several benefits. Let's have a quick look at few of those. The first one is about the enhanced security. So as managed identities are automatically managed by Azure, it doesn't require us to handle the credentials directly, which makes the system a lot more secure. The second point here is about the granular permissions. So like I mentioned before, whenever we are dealing with anything, we should give bare minimum required permissions to our users. So here, in order to use the managed identity, we can, I mean, the intra, intra ID allows, use, allows us to use RBAC. So RBAC is short form of a role-based access control. It means using RBAC, we can assign the minimum required permissions to the service principle. So when I'm saying service principle, that means you can assign it to users, groups, or even other managed identities. And using RBAC, if we are assigning these required permissions, then we are ensuring that each identity has the bare minimum permission to perform any action. And the second point I mentioned here is about uh, scopes and different environments. So when I'm saying scope, it means that you can set these permission either at the subscription level or you can set it at the resource group level. In fact, you can do it at an individual resource level as well. And when you are dealing with the multiple env multiple environments like prod, test, local, it is very easy to switch between these environments and make your application work very seamlessly. The last one I mentioned here is uh, we can avoid the manual rotation of keys. Because like I mentioned, everything is managed by Azure, so it doesn't require a manual effort to rotate our keys. And in turn, it reduces the risk of credential exposure, which is another great advantage of not using key-based authentication. 
over managed identity. So if you are very much convinced with these few points like why we should not use key based authentication and why we should go for the managed identity then stay tuned for my next video because in that video I am going to show you everything in action. So till then stay tuned.